When the Conservative leader was Minister of Housing, a typical family home cost only $450,000. Investment in housing construction is down 14% under this minister. Rent has doubled, house prices have doubled, and mortgage payments are up 150%. Again, will the government end their photo op so Canadians can get houses built? Yeah. Making the investments necessary to get Canada building again, and I have good news for my colleague. It is working. When we look at the Statistics Canada report from yesterday, we see significant increases in the investments in residential construction. In fact, the heading of the section from the report is entitled Strong Gains in Residential Investment indicating a nearly 8% increase just this past month. We have a plan to continue to cut uh, costs for home builders and to make the investments necessary to get the homes built that the economy and the families who live in it need. The Honourable Government House Leader. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I think on this side, and actually for Canadians across this country, but particularly in Ontario, when we hear the words common sense and conservatives, we get the shivers. Because we remember the time when they cut services to education, when they cut services to health care, when they cut important services for water that led to deaths in Walkerton, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, when we hear common sense conservatives, we know that means cuts for Canadians, harms to Canadians, and nothing good comes up. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Member from Central Okanagan, Similkanin Nicola. Mr. Speaker, after eight years of this NDP Liberal government, grocery and home heating bills continue to rise, as do rent and mortgage payments. Scotiabank has said that inflationary government deficits are to blame. If our de deficit maker in chief was to show fiscal responsibility, it would drop interest rates by 2% and save the average family $700 a month off their mortgage. Does the Prime Minister understand that his deficits are making it difficult for people to afford basic necessities like food and housing? Or does he think that all Canadians are auditioning for Les Mis? Thank you.